Hey guys, it's Ash, and today I want to introduce you guys to a new series that I'll be doing. It's called Road to Top 200 in the US. As many of you guys know that it really didn't take me long to get to Titan. It only took me about six days to get from Masters to Titan. So it really wasn't much of a challenge for me. So instead I'm gonna go for something more challenging like getting to top 200 in the US. Uh, obviously as you can see, I'm very far away from top 200. I'm currently at 922. And, uh, but I did get up 170 ranks up here as you can see on the left side. Uh, so that means that I am going up rapidly uh, however in global I'm nowhere near the top 200 I'm like in 7892 uh, but I did gain 999 ranks up so I am get going up at a very rapid rate compared to other people in the leaderboard so maybe this trend will continue and maybe I can make it to top 200 in the US in no time and if that goes successful and if I can do so uh, pretty quickly then maybe I'll attempt getting to legend uh, maybe so as you guys know that I did use giants to get up here however uh, I'm now gonna start using golems just because unlike giants golems are much better uh, giants just die too fast so many raids I could have done two star raids uh, now it's just getting much harder because most people here in Titan almost everyone has an anti earthquake base now so it's very difficult to 50% them with giants. However, I can still 50% them and get a and get their town hall at the same time with five golems. Just because golems just don't die, they live for a long period of time. So their tanking ability allows me to consist consistently two star people. So in this episode, I'm going to share some of the raids that I've been doing with five golems in Titan. Okay, in this first raid, I'm going to start by placing my Earthquake spells right there to open up those two largely separated layers of walls. And I'm not going to spread out my golems too much because I need them all to go inside the core area. And that's because of the two single target infernals. They're going to be very deadly if I don't have my golems distracting them. As uh, my heroes in this composition are my main powerhouse units as my golems tank them. As I don't really have much wizards because I'm carrying five golems of course. Uh, so I do have the single target infernals uh, distracted by my golems. But my king gets in because of that archer queen that pulled him inside. I tried to freeze it and the infernal tower. But there's another single inferno. So he takes out my king quickly. But look at that. That wizard single handedly just takes down that, wiz uh, that town hall. He's the real MVP of this raid, and that secures the one star for me. So, so far I'm safe. Can I get the two stars? Well, I do have golems, and this is where golems are much better than giants. If, if I was using giants in this raid, my giants would have already been dead. But since I have golems now, they can live much longer and allow me to get further inside the base. So my queen is working on one side getting percentage points, my clumped up golems on the other side are working to get the percentage points over there and uh, now I can use my cleanup archers to clutch the 50% win and that's gonna be 22 trophies. So this was a huge whale of an offer for me. Okay, against this base, I'm going to place my Earthquake spells right there in that square compartment and that's going to create a huge opening towards that core, towards the Town Hall. Now I'm going to spread my Golems here on the sides and also send in, I also place a Jump spell first and then send in my King and I'm going to quickly remove the side structures so that I can funnel him towards the inside as well as my Queen. He does have a Lava Hound in the Clan Castle so that's going to be really annoying and it's going to really pull back my Queen as my King ignores it and goes uh, towards the inside he's being pulled in by the archer queen and the skeleton traps uh, so I'm gonna have to freeze the archer queen Tesla Expo and the infernal tower and take them all out as well with the rage spell uh, the single infernal tower did catch my barbarian no it did not catch my barbarian king he's running off towards the other side so I guess uh, that's fine uh, now my queen and a bunch of uh, troops are gonna take out that town hall so that's awesome however my king is banging on the wall over there on the side 
but doesn't really matter I might be able to still secure the two star win uh, now my queen did get targeted so I'm gonna activate her ability and that's gonna retarget the single infernal tower to target my king my queen has now uh, gained 46% from that builder hut right there and now uh, those mortar those golems are distracted by that wizard tower so I'm gonna send in archers behind that and take out the barracks right there before they can get my archers and on this side I'm gonna use my archers to secure the 50% so as you can see with golems I'm able to uh, two star bases much more easier than giants just because giants just die too fast and they're just not able to uh, get inside a core as well as golems can okay lastly against this popular base that I've attacked many times but this is going to be the first time I attack with golems. I'm going to spread around three golems, open up that layer and open up those two layers over there towards that core with the earthquake spell. And now I'm going to send in my wizards and heroes. I'm not going to send, in, send out my last two golems yet because they're just going to get funneled by the defenses. So I'm going to first start by removing those defenses and then send in my golem so they can go towards the core because I do want some golems to go there and distract the defenses. If I, if I can get one golem in there and I did then I can distract a bunch of Teslas and Expos because they're all clumped together inside that core so now I'm gonna place that poison spell it's gonna kill those skeleton traps and everything uh, my king died because of the single target infernal tower and uh, I still have my archer queen and as you can see that golem is distracting those Teslas the Expo the single target inferno and uh, that's allowing my level 40 archer queen to quickly take out those buildings I'm at 45% can I get the 50% I think she's getting targeted by the inferno single target inferno so I'm gonna have to quickly activate her ability I'm at 48% 50% there we go excellent and that was 18 trophies awesome all right, that will be it for this episode. Hope you guys liked it. And I'm gonna constantly keep you guys updated on my performance up here as I try to make my way to top 200 in the US. So, hope you guys have a nice day. I'll see you guys again. Bye.